Arcane is the best new show of 2021, and it's not even close. All right, everybody, we have Arcane, Netflix's original release. It came out November 6th. Uh, Video I, game adaptation of and, League of Legends, which, which we, neither one of us really knew. I knew what League of Legends yell was. yell at us. If you were to say, okay, well, what's League of Legends about? I'm like, uh, and you lost me. It's a pew pew. And that's it. Um, I have no uh, idea. Something that I'm not good at playing. I know that. So I was kind of apprehensive to start it. So my first thought was when yep. I saw it on Netflix and it was like trending in the top 10. God, it was getting shoved in our face. It was number, it was on yeah. the top 10. I think it was number one for a while. It was on the big title screen. Like I saw it a lot. My thought though was, okay, well, it's probably okay because it's trending that high. Right. But it's like, I don't want to try to learn League of Legends or get yeah, into it. Exactly. So when but I, I was like, I don't even know what that is. So why do I want to take that risk yeah. to watch something about a thing that I know nothing about? A couple days went by. And then um, I saw, I was scrolling on YouTube uh, and I saw a review and it said, why Arcane is a masterpiece. And I was like, I didn't even watch that video. All I did was like, okay, wait a minute. People are exaggerating. So I went back to uh, Netflix and I pressed play. This show is a masterpiece. I mean, everything, and I'm serious. The animation is like some of the best thing work that Disney's, I'm, I'm sorry, that Riot's ever done. Because um, it was made by the same people who made the game. Yes. So that was, that I think benefited the show. This is an R-rated Disney movie, and I mean that in like the best possible way. To me, it looked like it was made by the gamers. My wife, when we were watching a couple times, said it looks like this could be something you actually play. Like I've, it looked like when the camera panned back, you could just like assume control of the character that was on screen. Obviously, this is a steampunk show. Yep. Because I only I don't I'm not in, I don't know much about that that genre. I know what it is. And but then, you know it when you see it. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Because I, I and I thought it was cool as shit. They merged what steampunk does. Retro with current, and I thought that was neat, and it fit the animation. Um, I thought it was great. It's some of the best animation I've seen. Ever. And it was realistic yet animated. It looked like it, there were some two D scenes, yep. and then there were some three D scenes, and they blended them together. The color palette of the show is like there was a fight scene with um, Echo and Jinx, where it changed to this like hand drawn like graphic like so glad comic book this up. that. It was like so good looking. One of the coolest that, things I've God. seen in a long time. And it was, and it kept flipping back between when they were kids yep. to adults. And I'm like, and the choices that they've made, the path, yes. the life paths they've gone down. And in that scene, mm. it showed you just how much they both had felt in that moment. This show just, and they reenacted the same things they were practicing as kids. Yep. And this was like the dodging the bullets and get, I, I have that written down. So I'm glad Ryan brought it up. The show, we got to tell them what the show's about. Oh, okay. We, we're already diving in. So the show just, honestly, it, it takes the, the rich of uh, Piltover, which is the rich town, mm -hmm. looking down on the Undercity, which is Zon, and it follows our main characters, Vi and Powder, mm -hmm. and their team, to really, it goes through their their family issues, it goes through... Society's so, issues. Yep, society's issues. Science's issues. issues. Uh, and it really... I'm watching this thing, and it checked box after box mm -hmm. after box. I'm like, does it have a good supporting cast? Yes. Yes. Are the uh, protagonists good? Yes. Uh, is the antagonist layered and deep? Uh, yes. In spades. Um, I thought Silco Boy, was an amazing bad the, guy. The villain, like he was a good villain, but he was doing it for the another, like a villain doing it for the right reason. And when he killed Vander, he did it because he genuinely thought in order to like make his people rise up, he was a better fit than Vander was. And I think he was. What the hell are you talking about? Uh, no, I definitely vehemently disagree. Well, uh, Vander tried to kill him. Vander knew where Silco was headed. And it was evident because reality played out that Vander was right. World. And he should have killed him <laughs> because he knew if he assumed power he knew what would happen between the relationships between Piltover and uh Zon. So uh not only did was Vander um correct in his assumption of what he would turn into, but it doesn't mean that he's like some like a uh, bad guy who's bad because he likes bad things. Right. He genuinely loved Powder, who is now turned into Jinx. Jinx. She is Jinx now. Uh Powder is before she was basically raised by Silco and now she is Jinx. Um 
Which I thought she was he expertly would, done. Absolutely. But <laughs> Silco would never have turned her over in order to gain citizenship for his city. He wouldn't have done no, it. No, you knew that. And that was a spoiler alert. With Silco ran it with, he, he invented Shimmer. He made, or like, commercialized no. Shimmer. He commercialized it. The guy in the dungeon, I forget his name, he's the one yes, who was called the to The one that was, like, in the cave. Mm -hmm. and Which was fine, because he was using it. There is there is a good side of Shimmer, and there's a there bad. Is. And to me, I showed relationships with narcotics. Yeah. yeah. With, you know, it big, was symbolic to the same right. thing. Yeah, exactly. They were um, doing it in bars as recreational yep. use. Like, yeah, right. Yeah. You they were, were doing like huffing it and shit. But then you see it heals, and it adapts and changes, and I, there's just so much that we can talk about this show. And... With, because it, it, the storyline is a, your basic storyline, I, I think it really follows a villain, set of heroes, good and bad, with the side of you know Jinx Powder kind of going at it like. Which, There's a family rivalry. Can There's, I tell you how they market it? How, I don't want to say marketed, but how they portrayed Jinx and her like mental issues. I thought that was great. Like she was a broken child. Mm -hmm. She murdered. Tons of people a at a lot. young age. Yep. Her her family. She killed her family, and this was her dealing with that with Silco guiding her, which obviously didn't help. But I think the way they had her, like with the the art style, that like graffiti she would do, and it would like mm -hmm. oh. at every part of the show, the voice acting, the animation, the story. Um, we didn't even talked about um, Hextech yet. That was with Jace and Victor. Yep, and there that, and Mel. that was the weaponizing of. My you God, there was the council. That was... That, there was that time jump. So Vi was taken. Mm -hmm. uh, Powder yeah. was also taken. And then it had that time jump, which they didn't make it a blatant time jump. But really? they, they took it to where, like, with Hextech and their, their transportation, you, mm -hmm. whatever they do with it. They never really opened that. Like, I just never really got that. But I just Like understood. that warp gate. That yeah, we just missed something like there. That. But then I think if we played the game, you might have got that. Might have mm -hmm. understood that a little bit more. But, you know, then... That the I think it was the third or fourth episode where it ended and they were at the prison mm -hmm. and Caitlin was in there and somebody was punching the wall and you that's know. where Vi came in because you saw yeah. pink hair and I just have to put it out there I don't know if I've ever you know thoroughly enjoyed an animated character but I think I have a new uh, animated crush with Vi <laughs> I hate to say it but she is just perfect she's she's great rough tough emotional I'll care like all this thing about Caitlin it. too. Right, I, I have there, that relationship was like, all right, it's not like I, I would yeah. advocate for at that point. I mean, she'd have to fight me for Vi, but that's fine. Um, it was just everything. I don't think I put one negative thing on here because also, you know, Mr. Music over here. Can you tell me how fitting that music was in every scene? You brought Imagine up Dragons. Code. They actually animated Imagine Dragons in the show in, at one of the scenes, mm -hmm. and I thought it was great. Their their type of music fit every scene they used. I think the fight scenes were, you know, done well Amazing. with the music. Amazing. Everything about this was just, you know, I, at one point I was writing things down. I don't even think they were words. They were just sounds that my body was making that I was how it felt about some of these things. <laughs> um, Ryan doesn't look at these. You got you got that vastness of the cities. You got the grand scale. I, I don't I don't know how if they could have did this any better. The portrayal between the haves and the have nots. Yep. And um, that's a that's what we live with now. That they feel amongst each other yep. for each other. Um the politics of Piltover. Um, which was as corrupt as you'd mm -hmm. expect it to be. The, the moral and ethical choices you have to make with Hextech and what it yep. could mean if it was ever co cultivated into a weapon. Yes, it's great, but um, can be weaponized. And then so your same weapon is built for good and then it can destroy everything. Uh, the relationship between Jace and Mel, I was also invested in that storyline. I was like halfway Jason. about liking and not liking Mel for like almost the whole show. Yeah. But when her mom came to Piltover and you saw a little bit more of her background, she was a bad. I liked man. her even more than I um, I thought I would. There wasn't a bad storyline. There wasn't a bad episode. Um, I need episode two of, of Arcane now, and we're going to have to wait more than a year to I get saw it. 2023 is when it's projected for, and I get it. It's a lot. Like, ha, what they put into it and mm -hmm. what we've been talking about for, mm, I don't know, 20 minutes now. Everything that they put into it was it worked. done well. It worked. It was received well. It made you want to get, you know, more of it. But I'm good with giving them time. Because yep. I don't want them to rush something just for the sake of a money grab. I want them to... Give us that same content because the way they ended the season, the last scene, and my and mouth was just like, "Yep, 
and I couldn't get, I wanted, and I'm like, wait, let me check. Is it is it nine episodes or 10 episodes? Give me a minute. So I went and looked and I'm like, well, it's nine. And that's I, it. Yep. Yep. And so Riot made this show to see if their form of storytelling on screen would work. Excellent. It works. And I've read that they have several projects already in Good. the works. I will watch everything that Riot puts out at this point, even if they don't get it to the arcane level. I'm fine with that because mm -hmm. this build was a universe of this peak. Yeah. yeah, this was peak. There's still so much story left to go, and you know they this was just opening our minds to this whole the world. world. Mm -hmm. And I think if if you guys haven't, th we we just probably have to shut our mouths about yeah, this let's, and, and let, get to we're our shut up now. Review. Layman's review. Yeah, because we could go on and on for this. In three, two, one. It's, it's. I mean, do, it's an S. Uh, Arcane you, is an S. I don't know how you're supposed to make a show, debut a world, introduce all these characters, and make me care any more. Your than emotional what they connectivity did. to it, to everything. You almost were picking sides, mm -hmm. which obviously, I, I mean, you know where I was with. I'd be putting on them gloves too and beating up everybody with with Vi. But. It was just everything that I wanted. Because even, you know, I didn't want to go into it like thinking that this is going to be the best thing in the world because I knew nothing about it. Mm -hmm. About halfway through, it started getting into that depth of where it made you think. Yep. And that's where was the turning point for me. Ex that's it. Because <laughs> right. not only Silco, but Jinx is like, yep. what she felt that, as a childhood. You had that. And, oh, man. And then you had, you know, with everything Vi and, uh, that she was dealing with. The choices J over. Jace had to make yep. with Hextech yep. and, like, where to take it. Yep. With Victor and his, like, that piece. Because he was trying to keep it separate. Jace was trying to keep it. Okay, he's business. He's part of the council. Yeah. Which, Hyman Dinner, by the way, I loved him. Yeah, he was, was so cute. cute. He was the... <laughs> He was the only wholesome person that didn't have, like, really bad character flaws. I felt terrible when they voted him out. I'm like, oh. I felt that loss for the city. <laughs> he wanted the best. He's lived for over 300 years. Yep. He's seen, he founded the city. Yes, he was the city. And then all this new guy who that they voted in just because he knows technology and he's, you know, progressive and all that kind of stuff, literally kicked the old fella out. Yep. And he's just a broken man walking around uh, Zahn at that point. And it was just, I, I just didn't want to go without mentioning him because he was, he latched on to my heart strings. And I was so well. excited when they continued his storyline yep. when he found Echo. Yep. And I was like, okay, good. He's not going to like just dissipate nope. and fall and away. And he's going to make that, that better. He's going to work with that. And his little pet that looked like the the scapegoat from Yu-Gi-Oh cards. No. <laughs> and it was, he knows, he knows a lot about that. <laughs> but I think, I, yeah. S, please watch the show. Yeah, you know, watch Arcane. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you don't know what League of Legends is. Don't it doesn't matter to. if you don't want to know what League of Legends is. No. Nope. If you turn off Arcane and finish watching it, you still might not know much about League of Legends. It doesn't matter. It's a great show. Um, nine episodes. I like the way they uh, released them. Three episodes one week. Then they waited three episodes in a second week, and then they released the last three. Um, just a couple weeks ago. We waited just long enough so we could watch it all. I didn't have to wait at all. I saw all <laughs> nine back to back. Which and... I've been fine waiting for because if they allowed me, because I, you know what? I would have liked more time to process this show because my, my gluttony is mm -hmm. I'm going to watch the entire thing. Binge it. But then like, if you were like, okay, well here's three episodes. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me think about that. What happened? Let me look at, let me peel this apart. All right. Another three. Great. Let me just figure that out. Okay. Th but you know, I I'll take it anyway. I got it. And uh, Arcane's great. Yeah. Go watch it. Uh, comment below. Yeah, let, let your I want to know what you guys was. think about it. Yeah. Right. Uh, how'd you like the animation? Um, Maybe if any of you guys played the game, you kind of clue us in a little bit. Is the game worth the play? Is League of, like, is League of Legends, would that give us a similar, like, I don't know anything about it. And you know, even to this, we haven't even looked up anything about it. Oh, I have. Oh, I have not. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, I don't want... I don't want, I don't know what I want. It's a time sink. That's what it is. <laughs> exactly. It's like a World of Warcraft time sink where if you go to play it, you're going to get your ass beat by people that have been playing it since yeah. it came out that know like every minute detail. You're about just a everything. movie boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am. Yeah. So uh, that's the episode, guys. <laughs> comment below. Let us know what you thought. Like, comment, subscribe like always. And we'll see you in the next video.